Hello everybody, my name is Jupiter, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Fantasy Story, where I last left off, we, uh, where, I don't even remember where we are, but it, I said I was gonna train up or grind some levels, so I did. I got up to level 10, as you can see right there, ooh, level 10, Ventus, uh-huh, and, uh, that's pretty much it. It wasn't too hard, I just went back to the bridge, and I, and I trained up there, I ran back and forth, um, bet between here and the bridge. Like back to the castle, went all the way down, and fought like several waves of monsters, I guess you could say. And then I and then I went back. That's all I did. So anyway, we can uh, head on up here. Look at our <laughs> uh, I'm trying to play this off like I'm doing it live, but I'm not. This is this is post commentary. <laughs> this is post mortem commentary, if you will. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna take a look at, at my in my command deck here. Now that you know, I don't have to pretend. So, so I'm, so I'm, because I'm, I'm kind of commentating slightly ahead of what I'm doing. To be fair, I recorded this episode a while ago, um, and I don't exactly remember what I was doing. So, so I, I blocked for some reason there, okay. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna go into the question mark, question mark, question mark area. And we can take a look, Oh, enemies, obviously. Uh, I don't even know what they're called, because I don't really care about the enemy names. Um, but, but yeah, oh, uh, fatties. I always hate the fatties. It's 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 really hard to annoy them. To annoy them. <laughs> no, it's really hard to to, to, to beat you them. Uh, did I did I just speak English? I I don't. I can't seem to recall. Anyway, yeah, the fatties. They they suck at fighting. They're just really obnoxious, and it's hard to beat them because they're fat. It's like Snorlax. He's got he's got thick fat. And he's resistant to stuff. And I hate these stupid plant thingies that just spin. They're kind of obnoxious too. Oh, and the birds. Okay, basically I hate all the enemies. Like I should, to be fair. They are my enemies. But the, but the birds are really obnoxious. Because like, they, they fly and you can't fly. So it's like, hey man, come on down and, and, and let me hit you in the beak with my key. Am I still fighting the damn birds? Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> on with Adventus. Ah, uh, plant monsters. They eat. Are they even plants? I mean, their heads kind of like flowers, but their bottoms are like tops. They're like plant tops, but not really. That's not really what they're called, I don't think. But they spin. They're spinny plants. I'll call them spinny plants from now on. And I got a potion. Hmm. Is the area blocked off there? Why is that a thing? I never noticed that when I was playing it. As far as I can remember. Hmm. All the questions are happening. I'm gonna take a drink of water. Because I can do that, because I don't have to play. I can just watch and talk. Probably sounds kind of gross because I'm using one of those squeezy bottles that you, you know, you can just squeeze into your mouth, and it probably sounds really nasty. I'm just hopping around like, like a goofball. What am I doing exactly? Oh, I think I tried to get up there. Is what I was trying to do. I don't know why I wanted to do that, but it, it looked like I could get up there, so I tried to. And as you can see that corner that I uh, was commenting on, how that corner looks very bad. Like, you can very clearly see the line where the two shapes meet. It's, uh, it's not very, it's not very nice looking. Looks like we're stuck. This must be Maleficent's doing. I know. Shall we? Yep.
They made that out to be a way bigger problem than it actually was. It's like, oh man, we're stuck. Must be Maleficent's doing. I know. Pop. That took me all of four milliseconds to do. You're welcome. And now we're just in a, just the dankest ever looking place ever. Makes you wonder. These long paths to get to like the, to, to the villain's castle or whatnot. Do they have to walk it whenever they want to leave or enter? They're like, ah, I really want to go get some milk. But I gotta walk down that huge path. It's not really worth it, but I really wanted the cereal. Or does she just use magic to just go boom? Milk. <laughs> oh, now with the face for little demon guard thingies that look ridiculous. They're really obnoxious because, like, they'll shoot arrows at you and stuff, but, but we'll see that soon enough. I just walk around stupidly. Looking back at what I did during the video, oh, oh yeah, I was mentioning that this corner right here, as you can see, when I walk into that corner, the game just lags out for some reason. And it's not even my computer, it's the game that actually lags out, because my, uh, my FPS stayed consistent. But the game just lagged out. It's really strange. Like the arrow guys, the really obnoxious ones. Because they shoot arrows at you. And range is never fun. Because I don't have any- I probably do- I do have ranged attacks, never mind, but I don't use them. Ow! That guy's got some- some strange knockback. He's a little guy, too. He shouldn't be able to do that to me. Serpentine, Serpentine, dodge the arrows. I'm just standing there to block the arrows, and they're just like, nope, not gonna do it. I know what you're doing, I'm not gonna do it. It looks like I'm on fire. Am I like the Human Torch? I'm like Ventus, the Human Torch. Just flame on, and then boom. I start hitting things with fiery key blades of death. Ooh, got cure. I do want to get that ability at some point in time. I don't know when I'm going to be able to do it. Not anytime soon, obviously, because I need more. But the ability, and I always forget the name of it. God damn. It's like you regenerate health when, when you successfully block. And I always forget the name of it, but it, it sounds like it's really useful because that was the big issue uh, when I was fighting, like... Um, Master Ericus and and uh, and Xehanort, obviously, with um, with Terra was that I could block, but I'd still be so low on health, and I'd have to just block until I could, and I could use with Cure or something to uh, get my health back up. Hmm. Yeah, that that definitely sounded nasty. That drinking thing there. I, I don't exactly remember what I was doing, but I I think I was trying to like f make Curaga or something. Trying to look for other ways to, 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 to do that. Or maybe I just didn't have care. Hmm. Oh, that's what it was. I was trying to, yeah, make items. And then I decided I didn't want to make fire aga, I guess, because I wanted fire dash still. I don't exactly know what I'm waiting for, is, is the thing. I, what, what the hell am I doing? That's the thing. I look back at how what I was doing in the video, and, and, I'm, and I'm just asking myself, what the hell am I doing? I just look around in circles, and I'm just like, oh, what's over there? Nothing. I knew that already. It's kind of looks stupid. <laughs> Well, they ain't guarding nothing. Tension! No sleeping on the job. I wonder what the information's gonna say. Take out the bad guys. Ah, oh, thanks. I didn't know I had to do that. And then, we, there's just two of them. So I was kind of like, what? There's just two of them guarding stuff? And one has an arrow. But bow. And then I'm just like, oh, wait, there's tons more. They just appear because they're magic or something. I don't know why she has these pathetic-looking guards. Like, I feel like she would be a person of refinement 
They wouldn't want look stupid looking guards. Like I wouldn't want to have like little muppets for my, for my soldiers. Oh, I defected that right in his face. Ah, I feel kind of bad for him actually. It's like why does she want these little chicken footed people? Um, and I literally mean chicken footed. Um, for the, for her security. Seems kind of stupid because because she's her. Oh, unlocked finish level up heat slash one. I didn't. I didn't know I had that. I should check that out. See what it is. <laughs> they're running around. <laughs> they're so stupid. They're like, oh. And they don't know what they're charging at. Oh, and that was a waste. And then I remember I had to make a cut or something. I don't exactly remember. No, yeah, I had to make a cut there. That's what happened. I think someone was calling me. Wow, I just took out a bunch of them with that. And then <laughs> they're just here and you're like, what do I do now? And I, I actually just stand here. I don't even... I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Hmm. Oh, here's her throne. I wish I could sit in that. That'd be so awesome if they could let you sit in her throne. And you sit in it, she just appears. She's like, who dares touch my little thingy stone seat? It looks very uncomfortable, to be fair. That gra It's grand, but it's very uncomfortable looking stone thing. Should like, who dares touch my uncut? Oh! And now we're in a maze that only appears as you walk through it. Very strange. This is actually the worst kind of maze ever. Like, imagine a maze of glass walls. Like, you could see where you're headed, and you could see what awaits you in the maze, but you don't know when you're gonna get to it, or how you're gonna get to it. That's the very worst possible maze, because it's more... It, it, it's like putting mind games on top of mind games. You're already going crazy in a maze. And they're just like, ha, 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 false hope. This is what you're looking forward to. And then, boom, you never actually end up getting there. So those things are teleport pads. Uh, this whole room seems kind of unnecessary, but okay. I guess I just wanted to put a maze in. That doesn't really act as a maze because it kind of points you in the direction you need to go. If a wall appears, don't go there. If it doesn't, go there. So, I mean, it, it still gets a little confusing, though. I will admit, I, I got a little lost. But it wasn't terrible. And I got stabbed in the side there, so that's kind of painful. Uh, these little guys still appear everywhere, and obviously this is the only way to go. Because you can't, you can't go to other, any of those other places, so it just doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, yeah. It actually is impossible to get to those other places as far as I know, so I don't know what the point of it is. Ah, wow, I took a beating there. Like, I didn't do a lot of damage, but that was unnecessary, that wind, but okay. Oh, there's Heat Slash 1, as it's called. Stupid archers. Oh, wow, I didn't mean to do that. But I guess I did. Just rolling off the cliff. Heat Slash, oh, that Heat Slash looks pretty cool. Ow, why is your knockback so absurdly large? Ha, take that. The thing is, I, I blocked unnecessarily there, because I could have taken them down before they even attacked. But I was just like, I'm going to block you. Uh, and I, I was blocked at the wrong times. Like, I have to wait for the attack to block. I'm not blocking when I should be blocking to avoid getting hit. I'm blocking when I want to block. It's a very strange way of putting it, but yeah. It's like, hey, I'm not actually defending against you. I'm letting you attack so I can block. And yawn and feel good about it. Mm. Every time you hear some nasty sounds, just, you just, I'm, I'm drinking water. Nothing weird's happening over here. Oh my god, damn it. He's like, boom, and knocks you up the stairs. You know how powerful someone has to be to knock you up the stairs? That is, <laughs> that is strange. There's nothing down this way. Why don't they put this here if there's no, and there's a door on the map. It clearly shows an exit slash entrance and what just happened. 
Did my computer just lock? It, oh, wow, I, it almost went on standby there. Interesting. It didn't affect the recording, I don't think. Nah, we're good. We're good. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know if you guys know the Warheads candies. You know those really little sour suck candies, hard candies? Yeah, so I haven't had them since I was like seven or eight years old. Because they, they, were, they were, I think they were banned in Canada for a short while or something. Or maybe they're still banned in Canada. I swear that I remember hearing something on the news about them being banned because they were a health risk. Because they're too sour. I don't know if that's true, but I, I remember hearing that from, from somewhere. And and so I, and my sister recently gave me like a, a bucket of candy for my birthday. Um, she got it a bulk barn, I guess, or something. And so it, it had it had war, a bunch of warheads in it. And I'm like, oh my god, I freaked out when I saw them. I'm like, I haven't had these in so long, and I've always loved them because I love sour candies. But everyone who eats them hates them because they're too sour. But I love them. So I... <laughs> So I pop one in my mouth, and I'm just like, holy oh, crap, that is sour. I miss this so much. But yeah, this is reminiscing a little bit, because I'm like, ah, oh, I, I, I wish I had these for so many years. And I just, I, I, like, I know they, they've always been available in America, because America has different food standards than us. I, guess. I don't know exactly how to put that, but a lot of things that are deemed unhealthy here are, uh, are allowed in America, because who cares? And I guess the only reason they're banned here is because, you know, government pays for health care so it's like you got a problem with food we got to pay for that it's just like nah we're gonna save some money by just banning a bunch of unhealthy drinks and foods here like example uh pop or soda however you want to say it america has so many more flavors than we do like like just just random like collect different coke flavors and stuff that i don't even know what they are because they just don't exist here but the, but, but people who go to america they get them just like oh my god this is amazing and they bring it back to canada it's like yeah order some of these because because we're not gonna get them like coke vanilla it was in canada and then it like for a short short while and i guess the sales just weren't good or something people didn't like it maybe it was unhealthy i don't know no more unhealthy than normal coke so i don't really understand and i love coke vanilla it's my favorite drink ever i love coke vanilla and and so it just wasn't available here for a lot of years and then people started getting it i don't exactly know where like there's convenience stores that just have them, and I'm assuming they order it, like, online, or they get it shipped. But I think it, it, it starts slowly coming back to Canada, because I've seen, like, retail stores and malls and stuff, and not retail stores, but, like, you know, candy stores and stuff like that, just have it now. They don't quite know where it's coming from, but hey. And they have it at the movie theaters, too. Uh, now the Cineplex places, they have, like, this fountain machine, and you just tap what drink you want, so you hit Coca-Cola, and there's a bunch of options, there's, like, coke lime and there's coke vanilla and there's coke cherry and diet coke and coke zero and diet cherry or whatnot um it but it, it's obviously not the same thing because it's a fountain drink and it tastes like crap actually i got coke vanilla because i love coke vanilla so i'm just like hey coke vanilla i'm gonna have some and it tasted like absolute crap what am i talking about okay so this is the rant about co candy and coke because those are basically the only two things i eat ever and i'm just in i'm watching myself go through this maze and i look like an idiot but I'm just talking about coke because it's all that really matters. Forget the video, man. Listen to what I'm saying. This is some really deep stuff here. So, so yeah. So I had some coke vanilla, and I and I'm <laughs> I'm terrible at mazes, clearly. But anyway, um, mm. I just squeezed water all over my face. <laughs> okay, that's so much for sippy caps. I'm gonna clean this up because I happen to have paper towel, which is right here. Uh, ignore all the sounds you're about to hear, if you hear anything. I'm just gonna wipe my face. Wipe the desk. <laughs> wipe my shirt. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, you know what? We're not gonna stop this recording. Let's keep going. Okay, cook vanilla. Um, <laughs> sorry. Oh, my God. Uh, that's funny. Anyway, so... What was I talking about? Yeah, cook vanilla. So I had some, and it tasted like absolute crap. Like, it was so disgusting, like, like, because all, all it is is, like, syrup, and then carbonation, and then vanilla syrup, and it actually doesn't even taste like Coke vanilla, it kind of tasted like Coke lime to me, to be fair. Like, I think they mixed them up or something, it was really funny. 
and it ruined the movie I was watching. I was watching a really good movie. But anyway, speaking of movies, have you guys seen Gone Girl? This video is not gonna come. This video you're not gonna probably see for a while because I've been really slow about recording because busy stuff um, with the university and whatnot. But Gone Girl I watched recently, and holy crap, is that a good movie? Like seriously, like I I, I don't know what people expected from it. I I walked into it not knowing very much about it other than you know Ben Affleck's wife goes missing or something. That's all I knew about it, so there was no pretenses whatsoever. Never read the book, never even read a summary of the book. All I knew was that and that David Fincher made this movie or directed this movie, and I'm like, this is going to be a good freaking movie. It was God, it was long, but it was so worth it. Because I love David Fincher, because he makes freaking amazing movies. I've watched a bunch of his movies, and I love them all. And they're all really dark, except for, like, Social Network. That was dark in a different way. That was more of, like, a suing stuff darkness but then the aim never mind that i'm not talking about social network it was a good movie um so much good so good that movie was like honestly if you if you can stomach it go watch this movie there's a lot of yeah i'm not gonna say anything about it but just just go watch the movie um and and you might you might after seeing it <laughs> you might be turned off from relationships if you're getting married you might be like eh and if you have a girlfriend, you might be like, eh, for a few weeks or so. Maybe a day. A few days. Is this a cutscene of some sort? I haven't been, I'm not even really paying attention to what's going on. Oh, that's the light I'm looking for. I forgot, I was looking for Princess Aurora's light, and that there it is right there, her heart, or whatever. As it's, is it her heart, or her, her light, or, I guess it's her heart we're looking for. So I'm just gonna use this, this like, this wooden-looking keyblade, this, this, this thing, I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> that face. Huh? Don't you remember? We've met before. We... we have? Why, of course, you said so yourself. Once upon a dream. It's all it takes. God. If only guys in real life could have the pickup lines that Disney characters have. It'd be so easy to get a princess. <laughs> oh, my name, Wyatt. Oh, oh no, I can't. Goodbye. I must see you. I don't know. Maybe but also, someday. the girls in Disney movies are so good at cock blocking. Like so good. This evening, at the cottage. Not really. It's actually, it's not called cock blocking, is it? This is called blue balling, is what it is. But same thing. You know what I'm talking about. So good they are. But anyway, yeah, Gone Girl, such a good movie. Aurora's memory. She must have gotten her heart back. So her dream came true. Yes, not long ago. Dreams are very strong beliefs. Aurora's led her to her true love. I see you hold strong beliefs too, don't you, dear? Yep. You also have a strong light. Hmm. All right, hurry. We can't stay here. Wait, so the maze just disappeared when they when they showed up? I, they must have got... Ugh, nope, the maze is still here. Why do they? Why can't they just help me with the maze? Maybe fly over it or something? They're freaking three fairies. Not one, three. Maybe one couldn't stop Maleficent's magic, but there's freaking three of them. Come on. Yeah, you're just fluttering around. I bet you didn't have to go through that maze. Someone has released Aurora's heart. Tell me, child. Was it you? Maleficent. Only because you stole it in the first place. A keyblade? You must be Ventus. Huh? How do you know about me and the keyblade? My powers ensure I'd know of the key to bringing me hearts. Terra gave me a demonstration. Terra? He was here? Why, yes. In fact, it was he who stole Princess Aurora's heart. That's a lie! I was asked to leave you unharmed, but it seems I have no choice. 
You guys are still probably hearing some weird stuff. That's me drinking water still very loudly. Okay, so fairies turn into little blue, a little, not blue, but little colored balls of light that don't do shit. <laughs> um, I think they're trying to help at one point or a few points, but I, I totally just don't use them because the window of opportunity you have is really small. And I got hit by lightning. Ha! Take that. I blocked. Get, what are you doing? Ventus, get up there. But yeah, um, this fight isn't actually terribly hard. You just need to do a lot of running around and blocking slash dodging. It takes a little bit of time, but that's it. Um, and I remember getting interrupted in this fight, so I think there's about to be a cut. Which won't obviously affect you in any capacity. I just have to, it'll break up the action a little bit. But other than that, okay, this is the only part hard part here. This, this lightning blast is ridiculous. She Look look how far back she hit. She hit okay, there's the cut. I got called again. Um, but look how far back I got sent because I kept getting hit by that lightning. Like, I went all the way back through the arena. The circle thingy, I was at the front of it, and I went all the way to the back of it. That's how far it sent me back. That's ridiculous. That's the only difficult part about this, and obviously, when you, when you get taken damage like that, you gotta be very careful because health goes down and stuff. If you didn't know, health goes down. Yeah. So now I'm just sort of biding my time and doing absolutely nothing because she's hitting me and not actually hitting me and, and she's sort of just standing there and the blue lights I keep saying blue lights but the fairies are just are just there they're so useless yeah, this is the best bet to avoiding this lightning attack she does just go right next to her and very few of them will actually hit you except for those the two that hit me but like you get a lot of damage off on her if you get up there on time and she sort of just teleports over to the other side of the room. Uh. Also, don't stand in front of her for that attack. Stand behind her, because then it won't hit you. Because she blasts forward. I learned, I learned these things from the fight af it, after the fact, though, unfortunately. Yeah, I think the second time around, I didn't actually get hit. I need a lightning. Yeah, I, I completely avoid. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. But I almost completely avoided it. Unlike the first time where I got hit like 17 times. Where'd she go? Oh, got a high potion that I'm not going to use. Hey, and there it is. Now she's doing her thing, and the fairies are right around her, not doing crap. What? I don't actually know what just happened. Did I get hit by some sleep curse or something? I guess she'd be really good at sleep curses, wouldn't she? Ha! Right in your face got blocked. Oh, I almost did it there. Ouch! Eh. Heat slash. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Nice. And he killed her with a heat slash. So the fairies didn't actually help whatsoever. I think, I think when she goes to the middle of the room, that's when the fairies are supposed to help. If you were close enough, but it never happened. There's no way Tara would hurt somebody like that. You don't believe me? That's unfortunate, for he agreed so easily. He did? Ben, don't be fooled. Huh? Aqua. Tara would never do that. You're both wrong. He totally did. I was there. Maleficent, in this case, is actually telling the truth, and she's the bad, so you guys are the fools. Goddamn. After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. The master looks so tense right now. Calm down, guys. Then, let's go home. But Tara... Tara's not ready to leave yet. Like right now, he's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, he'll be a different person. Sorry, Aqua. But I can't go with you. What? It's just, I have to find him before it's too late. Ben!
You all sing the same tune. Ventus, let's go home. Ventus, let's go home. I swear you both had a mission to do, and that's to find out what was happening, and you guys are terrible at doing it. Because all you care about is getting Ventus home now. Ventus is helping. He's totally... He went through an entire adventure by himself. He's totally good. All right? Calm the creep the crap down. He beat Maleficent, okay? That's, that's a feat of its own, because that took quite a lot of manpower. I don't know when, but I'm sure it'd be hard. He's all good. You know, don't even worry about it. And that's that. So, uh, I believe we're going to this question mark, question mark, question mark place next, because that's where we have to go. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.